Hey there Divi people, this is John from Divi Ready Themes and in today's tutorial we're going to be going over where exactly did our hover effects go for our buttons. I know it used to be on that little builder menu but it's not there anymore so I'll show you where that went to and for the 90% of the people who already know that answer I'm going to be showing you how to do this hover effect using only Divi hover effects, no CSS involved. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And it used to be when you put it in a new button and uh, we get into the button and we use the custom styling. It used to go down here, if I can stretch this out a little bit. And right here where the background color was, right here, let's make it uh, blue for now. Let's change the button text color to white. Let's make it no border. Now there used to be a section right underneath here that was button background on hover. But that is no longer here. I actually thought it was a glitch and I didn't do anything about it. I thought that after the next update it would come back, but it didn't. Until I found out about the little black arrow. If you look here, any option on any module throughout Divi that has this little black arrow here means you can do a hover effect. So for this right here, let's say I want to change my background color to on hover turn to red. So what I do is I click on the black arrow and what that does is brings up another option here for hover. I click on the hover, go down, change my color. Now that's my hover state and this is my default state. And you can see it actually happening up here on the button as I'm doing that. Now you can also, like I said, anything that has a uh, has a um, little black arrow can be changed. So let's say that we want to change the button text color to be something else when it rolls over. That also has a little black arrow beside it. So if we click that and we do hover, we say we want to uh, turn uh, yellow when it gets on uh, on the hover state. So now we've got both of our hover states on, on in there. We save it. Let's exit our Visual Builder, save our settings, and you can see you still have every all the control over the button, it's just change where you find it. It's that little black arrow. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to use that little black arrow to do six different hover effects in this one Divi Hover animation here. So the first thing we're going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Let's get rid of the button and let's get rid of this and start from scratch. We'll start over on this side. Now the module I used was the Call to Action module because it pretty much had a title and some script and would let me change the background color so that's why I used it. Title is here. I didn't put anything in for the click text here so I'm not going to have a button in there so let's take that out and you have your default text here. Let's go down to our background. First thing we're going to be doing is adding a background to this uh, this module. So let's go to our picture here. Grab a background picture. I think it's this one's a smaller one, yes. And let's upload that picture. Now the first, first um, effect that we have is to change the color of the picture. So how do we do that? What we're going to do is we're going to change the image background, the background image blend to multiply. And as you can see, it's already changed color here. That's because the default color here was blue. Let's change that default color to white, and that should show the picture as it usually is. Now, on hover for the background, we are going to change the background color to a nice purple color. Make it a little bit lighter so you can see the picture. It's a little bit lighter. Okay. So we can see a definite difference from hover to not hovered. So that takes care of our first transition. If we go ahead and save that and exit the Visual Builder, you'll see that our first hover effect is working. 
So all we did really was change the image to have a multiply blend mode and just change the background image when we go over it. All right, so next uh, step is going to be to change the position of the image. So let's start up our Visual Builder again. Let's go into our settings and design and spacing. And as you can see, above the spacing, above the margin, there's also the little black arrows. And I think I wanted to, no, no padding, change that back. I want the top margin to change. So we're going to change, let's do this. Let's change it back to regular here. And let's do our hover effect. So default is going to be nothing. Hover is going to be negative. 25. So default hover. And we see it's working. So let's save that. Let's save our settings. Sorry, my computer is having a little troubles today. And if we exit our visual builder, we've got two of our effects going on now changing the color, changing the position. Okay, back into Visual Builder. We are going to change the color. Well, we can either, well, we'll do both actually. Let's go in and change our text size. Um, let's say title text. And let's go to our title text size. You see that it has a little black arrow there. We click on a little black arrow. We go to hover. And let's say when we hover it, we want it to grow to 32. So you can see on hover how both are changing. Okay. And also I said we're going to change the color. So let's change the color, a little black arrow by the color. Let's see a little hover come up. And let's change that to like a bright yellow kind of, I don't know, something like that. All right, let's save that. Let's make our text uh, a little bolder. Um, let's go into our title text. Change it to my new favorite pop-ins. Let's make that a bold. And we're going to have to change them. But, well, actually, we can leave it. Yeah, because it'll take care of both. Okay. All right, so that is our next, our, our other part. Let's change, save this. and exit the Visual Builder. And as we can see, we've got color change, title size, title change, and position. Now we've got a couple more to go. So let's go back into our Visual Builder. And let's go back into our module settings. And the next thing is going to be change the opacity of the body text. So we don't see it at the beginning, but we see it on hover. So let's go here, let's go to body text. And if we go to body text color, we see our little black arrow. Let's click on that. We got our hover, we've got our default. So for our default, we're just gonna go into the color and make it transparent. Then we go over to our hover and we bring it back. Let's change the color to that of uh, white. Yeah, that looks good. So under faults, we've got opacity zero, hover, comes back, and we've got our text there. Let's exit out one more time. Let's save. Exit our visual builder. And you can see now we've got a lot of things going on here. So that is the first part there. Now the very last part is to add the bottom bar. So let's go back into our Visual Builder. Let's go back into our module, back into our design, and let's go into border. And you can see that uh, the border width has the little black arrow here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the bottom border and the border width is going to, we're going to check the little black arrow by the border width. And we're going to do default. And on hover, we're going to bring it up to, uh, let's say, 
10 or 12. 10 looks good. And we're going to change that color to something eye-catching. Let's make it like a... Mm, this is really not color-coordinated, but we'll leave it at purple. Make it a little bit lighter to match the actual photo. There you go. All right. All right, so that should do it. That should be the last part that we needed to do. Let's save it. And let's exit our Visual Builder. And as you can see, it all comes together in one hover effect. Without any CSS at all. Now you can do the same thing adding a shadow to it if you want to. Let's add a quick shadow to it. I've got a little bit more time. Let's add a little shadow. Let's go back into our Visual Builder. Let's go into our module settings. Let's go over to anim, uh, box shadow. And as you can see right here, there is no little arrow by box shadow. So what we have to do is you have to do a little trick. It's not really, it's not really a trick. It's a way to get around that. Let's add our shadow. Let's add where we want our shadow to be. I want my shadow to be a little bit below. Like it just raised up. And what we're going to do, since there's no option for hover effect for box shadow, what we're going to do is we're going to use the box shadow color. So we're going to set the box shadow color, set the default to be transparent, and we're going to set the hover to be the regular. And let's go ahead and save that. Oops, sorry. And if we exit the Visual Builder, take a good look at it, you see now it really kind of pops off the screen. Very nice hover effect. Okay, the last part I want to go over with you is the transition speeds. So if we go back into our Divi Builder, go back into the module settings, you'll see underneath the advanced tab, transitions. Now these transitions cannot be set for each one of the different hover effects individually. It's transition as a whole. So you can't like have the title grow in size and then have something else happen with the color. It doesn't work that way. It just works as a whole. So if you want to set your transition to go a little bit slower, let's set it to 0.7 seconds. I always set mine to uh, ease out, ease in, ease out. And let's give that a save. Let's exit our Visual Builder. And as you can see now, it's got a nice slow fade to it. You can, it's a little bit too slow, but I guess you can set that to be whatever you want it to be. But again, that's a very nice hover effect for not using any CSS at all. And that is about it for this video. If you did enjoy it, and I hope you did, please uh, click the subscribe button down below. If you uh, want to buy any of our Divi Child themes, we are at DiviReadyThemes.com. You can find uh, find us on the web. And the last thing I want to mention is uh, last month, Elegant Themes, the Elegant Themes, chose one of my child themes, the uh, medical child theme that I have, Meds, as one of their featured giveaways. So I want to shout out to Elegant Themes for including me on that. I uh, give them 200 free copies of the uh, theme, and almost every single one of the uh, copies were redeemed, which was uh, nice to see. So again, thanks for watching this video. This has been John from Divi Ready Themes, and I will catch you on the next video.